Hey guys, in this video we're going to start looking at pages and po and menus. Okay, so in addition to creating posts in WordPress, we can also create pages. So if we go to the back end here and we go click on pages, you'll see we have a sample page. Let's go ahead and create a new one. And we'll just call this about. And then I'm just going to grab some content. I'll grab two paragraphs. All right, and let's just click publish. Okay, so we have an about page and we have this sample page. Let's create one more. We'll call it services. Okay, now we need some kind of navigation. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, in order to use the menus, the menu system, we need to edit the functions PHP file. Because right now, if we go to appearance, there's no menus option. Okay, so let's open up functions.php. And we can go into this, this um, theme setup function that we created. And uh, let's say register underscore nav underscore menus. Okay, so we can use this. Oops, I don't want to do that. And then we want to pass in an array. And we're going to set primary. And then this will be the, the readable version. We're going to use this double underscore function. I don't need quotes here, though. And what this does, this is a localization function. It has to do with um, using multi languages in in uh, multiple languages in your theme so we'll say primary menu save and now if we go to the back end and reload and go to appearance now you'll see we have this menus option okay if we click that let's say um, create menu and let's see we have a home now you can see by default it has all the pages on the site and you can remove some if you want and if you want to add pages you can easily just check it click add to menu um, so we're just gonna keep what we have here and down here where it says theme locations you want to make sure you choose primary menu alright so we'll save that alright and if we go to the front end and reload we're not gonna see anything yet because we haven't included it in the um, in our header file that's where we want to put it okay because we want it on every page so let's go let's go right underneath the header and what we're gonna do here is cre we're gonna create a nav tag we'll give it a class of main nav All right, and then we're going to wrap it in a container. Okay, and then all we have to do here is we're going to open up some PHP tags. And I'm going to create a variable called args. And this is just going to hold an array of arguments, which we only need one for now. And that's going to be the theme location. Okay, we need to we're basically specifying what menu we want to put here and that's going to be primary which is the only one we have all right and then what we can do is we can call a function called WP nav menus and we just want to pass in I'm sorry just menu no s and we want to pass in that args variable so we'll save that go to the front end reload and there's our menu okay so it has all the pages that we put if we want to go and remove one let's say sample page we want to remove save reload and now that's gone alright and just to style this a little bit let's go ahead and go to style CSS and let's go down here and we'll say main nav let's give it a background uh, 
we'll do a black background. Color white. Okay, now we need to style the list items. So let's say main nav li. First, we want to remove the bullet. We'll say list style none. And we want to float these to the left. And let's do padding right 15 pixels. And then we want to do the links. Make sure those are white. And we'll remove the text decoration as well. Okay, let's take a look. And let's do the UL. We want to remove the, the default margin and padding. Okay, and then we'll add some padding to the main nav. Say five pixels. And there we go. Now we have a little navigation menu. If I click on about, it's going to take us to about, services. All right. Now, notice when we go to about, it has it's it's formatted the same exact way as the index PHP. All right, as if it was a post and it's not, it's a page. We're not going to want this, the metadata. We're also not going to want a read more link. So what we need to do is add, add another page to our theme. So we're going to create a new file and we're going to save it as page.php. Now if I go back and reload, it's blank because it's looking at this file. So what we can do is get the code that's in index.php and use that as a starting point. All right, and first thing we'll do is let's remove the link from the title because we, we don't want to go anywhere else. Uh, also, the read more, we can get rid of that completely. And it also has an excerpt, and we don't want that. We want the whole thing. So we're going to change that to the content. All right, um, and then the meta, we can get rid of that whole div. Save it. Let's take a look. And now it looks more like a regular web page. Okay, same thing with services. So that's how you can create pages and how you can um, target the, the markup for that page. You can also create custom pages, uh, custom templates, so you can kind of have different layouts for different pages, but we're going to get into that probably in the next project. All right, there's a lot, there's a lot more to building a theme. There's a lot more you can do. Uh, that we're not going to get into in this project, but I just want to cover just the basics in this project. All right, so we can now have pages, we have a menu. In the next video, I want to get into widget locations. Okay, I want to be able to have a sidebar with widgets. All right, so we'll get into that in the next video.